Hi guys, Bob Mead, CEO and founder of IQ Agent, and today I want to talk to you about how you can create a practical augmented reality system for your plant in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you the whole process right now of installing the IQ Agent software, creating a point of interest that includes live process data, schematics, we'll build a quick form in the IQ Agent form builder, and then creating an AR scene with that information. And it's start to finish going to take about 10 minutes. And then I'm also going to show you the same point of interest on a few different platforms we have, namely the Microsoft HoloLens, as well as the Realware HMT1. So let's get started. Okay, so we have a clean Windows Server 2012 system, and I have my IQ Agent master installation program. So I'll just run that. I'll agree to the EULA, and I'll choose the component. We have prerequisites, our configuration utility, that's where you're going to create your points of interest. We have the IQ Agent server app. This is what does the communication between your IQ Agent client on your mobile device and the server. You can use TLS encryption, uh, SSL, to encrypt all your traffic if you'd like to do that, and also the license manager. So I'll hit next, and I'll just leave the destination folder at default and click install. And at the end, the license manager comes up and it gives you your product key. When you purchase, I will give you a license key that you would put in the next step. By default, you'll get a 30-day trial, so I'm just going to hit cancel here. And that's it. Okay, so let's create our points of interest. I will launch a browser and point it toward localhost. And the IQ Agent configuration utility will load. And I'll add a group and just call this production. And then in that group, I'll add another group, call that Motors. And we're basically building a menu here, and this would be the menu you would see in the IQ Agent app that you could navigate, or you could just scan the POI code. So let's create a point of interest in our Motors group, and I'll just click Add POI. And we're creating the incoming bank motor POI, and we'll just give it a location. So now we'll click on our new point of interest. There's my QR code that we'll use to identify this. And we can just start adding resources to this POI. We have the info view, which is documents, schematics, data entry forms, movies that are relevant to the point of interest, and the data view, which is live process data. So we'll start there. We support OPC UA, DA, or ODBC. I'm just going to choose OPC. And we can browse directly the OPC server. Most SCADA systems and PLCs will support some type of OPC interface. Here we have Kepware, which is a well-known OPC server. We'll just browse down to the tags. These are tags that are related to our incoming bank motor. You can see they're different data types, and I'll just click Add. And I can go in directly and edit these for format. So I can just do 0.1F, which is a floating point. This is current, so my units are going to be amps. And I can choose a color for my amps, as well as a low and a high range. And I can do that for each of these. If I wanted to get data out of a production database like SQL Server or Paradox or something like that, I could use my ODBC connection. Here I've created a DSN on the system, and I can browse directly to the table and column that I want and write a query. And I'll just go in and edit this and give it a friendly name and just click Update. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some stuff to our info view. I've got some documents ready. I'll click Add, and I will choose File. So I'm just going to upload a couple of files to the IQ Agent Config tool. You don't have to do this if you have your documents on SharePoint like most of our customers do. You can just link directly to them. So I'll just click Choose File. Here's a schematic for the motor. So I'll give it a name. And I'll choose Reader Mode and just click Add. And I'll do that again. And here we've got an Excel spreadsheet safety checklist. It's always important. And I'll choose reader mode for that. And we'll do one more. Here's a video about IQ Agent. So I'll just put a name and a description here. And do that in reader mode. And click add. We can do a note. And this is static information. Maybe I want to put the serial number. Maybe it's hard to see on the faceplate or something like that. And I'll click Add. So now we have some documents. Okay, so the last thing that we want to do is create a form and add it to this info view. So we'll do, say, a daily equipment inspection form. So you get Sarah New Forms Editor here. I'll just click New Form and just start dragging stuff out. So first thing we want, I'll click an image. Click the Configuration button. 
and I'll choose Upload. We have an IQ Agent logo here, and I'll center it and make it a little smaller. And just click the checkbox. I'll add a horizontal line and then a heading. Click Configure. So we'll add in a date and the inspector name. And we will make this required. And then maybe some instructions. And then we will use a radio group to ask a question. And we will give it some options. And if the equipment is not working properly, we want the production supervisor to sign it, and then we also want to record the problem. So I will add a signature block. So we'll add a text area. And we will add an annotated picture so they can take a picture and draw on it and show us the problem. And we'll choose allow user to upload image. And we only want to show the production supervisor's signature if they chose no here. So I will click the rules button and just say let's look at this question and if it answers a no we're going to show that. And then we'll add a similar rule here. So if it's equal to no it's going to show that. And the same thing with our annotated picture. Finally, we will add the inspector's signature and a submit button. Now, one of the cool things about our form design is we can move stuff around, add stuff in later. Let's say that we want to add in to the middle of this the serial number. So I'll just take a text box, drop it in here. So we'll add equipment name and we will add the serial number. So we'll click the check. I will save this form. And then we can click try it out just to see what it looks like. So this is what our log is going to look like. And you can see if they choose no, then all the other stuff comes in. So what we want to do is we want to hook this form up to our new point of interest so that they can do an inspection. Go back to our point of interest. And we will add our new form. So we'll just add equipment log. Here's our daily equipment log. It will give us a nice preview. And then we can pre-populate the serial number and also the equipment name. And we will open this up in reader mode and just click add info. So if we click our value here by our form, you can see that it, it fills out our equipment name and our serial number automatically for us. So now we're ready to test out this POI on some IQ Agent clients. Now I can use my standard iPad or iPhone IQ Agent client to scan the QR code right in the config tool and just see what the POI is going to look like. So let's do that first. I'll pull up my iPad, launch IQ Agent, and I have to um, note my device token so I can register this iPad with IQ Agent. So I'll go back and do that. Go to Devices, Add Device. Just choose my device type and just click Add Device. So now my iPad should be able to connect to the IQ Agent server. We'll go back to the POI. Bring up my iPad and I can scan right off the config tool. And you can see there are my live data points coming from OPC and our database. And if I flip the POI over to the info view, Here's all of our documents. Here's my schematic, safety checklist, our video, and here's the form that we created. So the point of interest looks good. We're going to print out our POI QR code, put it on the equipment, and test it out with the new IQ Agent AR app. So I'll need to print out my POI code here so I can go to the print menu. And I'll just choose what I want to print. Only got one POI in my group. And I'll just choose the POI ID, short name, 
want the name to appear on the bottom and font size of 12 and then I can preview what that looks like and then just print it cut it out put it on the piece of equipment Okay, so I've added my IQ Agent AR token also to my device manager, and now I'll bring up my iPad. Okay, so we're on my iPad. I'm going to launch IQ Agent AR, and it's going to ask me to move the device around so it can get some tracking information about the environment. It's going to turn green, and as soon as it's ready, it will go away, and I'll put my cursor in the middle of my POI marker and it'll drop an anchor. So now this anchor point basically tells me what information I can add to this scene and what the point of origin. So I'll hit my plus button and this shows me all the information related to the point of interest we created. So first I'm just going to add the entire POI object and I can grab it and move it. And there's my live data sitting on my POI. I can put my cursor on the information button and tap that and it flips over to my info view and then I can open those documents so there's my schematics or I could launch my form and fill that out and submit it now I can also add just individual data points I'll uh, bring my menu back up and maybe add a couple of data points there and then maybe over here I want to add say my schematics and so these objects are added to the scene and we can move these around and resize them. And then I will hit the save button. And this saves the scene so that other AR clients can see it. So if I close the app and then relaunch it, then I can scan the code again and it recreates my scene. So next I'll show you that this scene can also be recreated on my iPhone 10 to show you that it's global. Okay, so now I'm on my iPhone X, and I will scan the POI code, and it drops an anchor. And you can see that it's recreated the same scene that I created on my iPad. So now we can check out the POI on our HoloLens. I have registered my HoloLens IQ Agent AR token with the config tool. I will launch IQ Agent. So I'll check out my connection to my server by saying configure. So there's my settings page. You can see my token down there. I've got my server address already in. I just need to test it. So I'll tap my test button. It connected. So I can just hit submit. Now I don't have to scan the QR code with HoloLens. I can, but I can't just place the POI and the data points and stuff around the scene, just like on IQ Agent AR. So I can do this just by accessing the menu. New item and I can pick either a data point, the whole POI, or an info link, just like on IQ Agent AR. I'll add the POI. It's gonna give me my menu. I'll choose production, motor, and there's my POI. And I can adjust this, so I can just kinda of move it back. I can say, make smaller, and I'll move it in. So you can see I've got some live data coming in there. And I can just select my I button, there's the list of all my documents, so if I wanted to say open my schematics, I could just tap my schematics. And I'll just gaze in some free space. And there's my schematics. So I can scroll or use my zoom tool to zoom in. When I'm done, I'll just hit remove and return to IQ Agent Space. And we can reduce this POI and just let it be an icon and of course that is a 3D object just sitting in space so I can walk all the way around it, move it, do stuff. If I want to add individual data points then I would access my menu and just place them like I do with IQ Agent AR. New item and I'll choose a data point and from my POI I will just do current, make smaller and I'll just kind of grab this and move it where I want. So this will save and then I'll be able to come back and look at this anytime I'm near the equipment. This system also works of course with the regular IQ agent so if you've got some older iPads or iPhones don't have AR capable devices this automatically works with IQ agent. Hold it up it'll grab the uh, point of interest. There's my data points so I can show my data points on a trend screen. I can hit my I button flip the POI around, pull up my video, show my schematics. 
So let's pull up the form that we created. I want to show you what it looks like from a user perspective. So I'm just going to put my name in here. And then is the equipment working properly? I'll hit no. It shows the production supervisor signature. I'll get the sign off on that. And then I'll enter in a description. And then I'll take a picture of the problem. It'll ask me if I want to take a picture. So I'll take a picture, use that photo, and then I can draw circles on this. If I need to uh, move some stuff around, I can do that. And then just choose done. And then I'll sign it and submit it. And all this information ends up in an ODBC database right in your plant. So you can integrate the output of your forms directly with your other plant systems. And like other places, you know, we don't charge a fee every month to use it. You buy the software, you get the software. We also have some other great features in the standard IQ agent. I can actually draw on the screen. I can take snapshots of the screen and email them to people. So a lot of great features there as well. So one of the beauties of IQ agent is you can use it for AR. You can use it for traditional mobile apps. Next I'm going to show you using IQ Agent on a wearable. So now I'm going to show you what the point of interest we created looks like on the Realware HMT1. That's head mounted tablet. They call it that because it's got the real estate of a 7 inch tablet held at arm's length. You can actually read and navigate documents using only your voice. With IQ Agent you can look at POI codes, scan them, pull up the same POI interfaces, view live data, watch videos, fill out forms all with your voice. It is class 1 div 2 compliant. So when you're going into those types of environments, it's already rated. It's got a hard hat clip. It's an awesome product. So let's take a look at what that looks like. This is what I'm seeing on the Realware HMT1. And you can see I've got my uh, connection there to my server. So if I want to look at our POI, I would say scan POI. And since the camera's uh, far away, I can zoom in so that I can scan my POI. Zoom level five. And then it'll find the QR code and scan it. So there's my live data points. I can just speak the name and it will show them on a chart. Produced, current. So there's my data coming in on my trend chart. If I want to look at my info view, I say flip view. So it flips over. If I want to pull up my schematics, just say schematics. I can zoom in. Zoom level three. It allows me to zoom in. If I want to freeze the document, it'll freeze. And if I'm ready to control it again, I just say control document. Navigate back. And if I want to go back to my main screen, I just say main menu. And it takes me back here. Okay, guys, a few closing points. I appreciate you hanging in there with me throughout this video. From starting the installation of IQ Agent in your plant or your lab to your first points of interest and in AR scenes, about 10 minutes. We just showed you this in this video. If you are funded for an AR or mobility pilot, a lot of you are. This IQ Agent is a no-brainer. It is low cost. I will make you a hero. Give me a call. IQ Agent is also off the shelf. There are no special skills required, and best of all, it's risk-free. We work with traditional devices, so if you're not at AR yet, it's fine, it works. If you do have some AR capable devices such as the iPhone 7, 8, 10, also the 6S as well as your iPad Pro series, then you can use our AR kit version. If you have a HoloLens, we work with that as well as Android based wearables like the Realware HMT1. With each license right now, you get a full unlimited forms designer. It's included. This is a great deal. You're not going to find that anywhere else. And we are already running in some large companies, household name companies, chemical pharmaceutical, food and beverage, automotive, have been running IQ Agent for years and plants worldwide. We've been around, we've been tested, and this is an on-site installation. We are not going to make you sign a subscription or be connected out to the cloud in order to run this. You buy the software, you get the software. Contact me to get started with an IQ Agent pilot in your plant. Contact me at bob.meads at iQuestCorp.com. Visit our website at iQagent.com. All right, so that's all I have for you today. You can hook up with us on Twitter at IQ Agent or on our Facebook page, facebook.com com slash IQ agent. I'm Bob Meats and I appreciate your time.